this is exciting. What's going on, everybody? It's me, the Beastly Gamer. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. It's been a while. I felt like doing some videos and talking to you guys about gaming for a change. Be sure, if you're interested in following my life in all facets, to check out K&B Mukbang, my new eating show channel, in which me and my wife get together and eat delectable, delicious foods. But today we're going to talk about Xbox, and Xbox new all-access plan, which allows you, the consumer, to buy an Xbox One S or an Xbox One X at a discounted price over a monthly plan. And it's really, really cool. Uh, for me, I feel like if I didn't, you know, own an Xbox One, I got the VCR edition. You know, I got the Day One edition. It's really big and bulky. But uh, I feel like maybe if it were a different time and a different place, maybe a year or two from now, uh, and I didn't have my Xbox and, and maybe some of the games that, you know, they, they recently announced were out. This would be a no-brainer. But I wanted to share with you, there's an article on Polygon that covers the whole facet. Xbox All Access subscription offers console, Xbox Live, and Game Pass for a monthly fee. Xbox announced All Access today, a new plan that includes subscription to Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass, as well as an Xbox One hardware for a discounted monthly fee, and it is discounted. You're not going to pay as much as you would paying flat out for this, the, the hardware and the services, which is a big deal. According to VentureBeat, with sites a now pulled Xbox Wire article, Xbox All Access will help new customers finance a, a console and pay less than they would buying the hardware and services separately, which is awesome. There are two tiers of Xbox All Access. For $21.99 per month, subscribers will get an Xbox One S in addition to Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass. And for $34.99 a month, subscribers will get an Xbox One S, I mean X, I'm sorry, I'm getting my letters mixed up. For $34.99 a month, subscribers will get an Xbox One X in addition to Xbox Live and Game Pass. There is no upfront cost, Microsoft said. And at the end of the 24 month subscription period, Xbox All Access members can keep their Xbox One hardware they paid for. So the big question here is, because you, you guys know like the rent to own places, you know, if you go to, I'm trying to think, rent a center or someplace like that, and they got a TV or you want a laptop or you want furniture and, and you're paying a monthly fee for it. By the time you get done paying for maybe a couch that would have cost you $1,200 if you went to an actual store and bought it, at these places you'll end up paying, instead of $1,200, you'll pay $1,700. They, they, it's just so ridiculous how those places get you. I've never used any services like that because I just can't bring myself to my knees to do it. And so me being the consumer, my question would be, how much are they getting you for when you do this two-year subscription plan? And you'd be really surprised to hear. The total cost for a two-year subscription to Xbox All Access comes out to about $528 for an Xbox One S, $528 and $840 for the Xbox One X. At current prices, which I'm sure they're going to change very soon, those services and hardware purchased uh, separately would cost $660, so $528, you're paying over two years, versus $660, which is a difference of $130 for the Xbox One S, and $860 for the Xbox One X. So $840 to $860, you're only going to save $20, no upfront cost. Two year subscription, and of course you're going to sign that contract on that line. Uh, so it's it sounds like a really good deal, uh, and things like this uh, are really for me exciting to see what Microsoft's doing for the future of gaming. Uh, they're not my favorite console; they're my third in the top three right now. But um, once they get some games that are interesting, they do have some games they, they announced at E3 this year that really do have me really, really excited. So I'm not going to pretend like I'm not. I really am excited. I think they've got some great new studios working out there in Santa Monica. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a really interesting 24 months, I think, for Microsoft. But to see them doing something like this, uh, I think that they are really pulling out all the stops to, uh, you know, make the world notice that my, Sony would never do anything like this. You know, I, I don't think Sony would ever allow you to know upfront cost, you know, sign on the dotted line, we'll send you a PlayStation, you get it on PlayStation Plus, you get PlayStation Now, and it's cheaper than what you'd be spending if you went right now to Best Buy and bought it. That's a hell of a service for, for the community. That is huge for gamers. And there is an update. 
Uh, it says, uh, an information page about Xbox All Access is now live on Microsoft's website. Xbox All Access is only available at the Microsoft Store. Interested parties will have to walk into a retail location in order to sign up for the program. And only from August 27th through December 31st, while supplies last. So, it's the 28th today. Wow, I didn't know that it was a short window of time to see how this thing works out. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, Microsoft is going to sell quite a few million Xbox Ones um, with this with this plan. I think it's phenomenal, uh, and I applaud Microsoft for stepping up their game and doing something that is so... You're taking a chance. You're taking a gamble, and usually these companies don't do those kind of things. And I think in the end, the consumer will be the one very thankful and very happy. You know, if you've got bills and you've got obligations and you you have expendable income once a month, that you can spend a little little bit of money, and it's really hard for you to save up the three four hundred dollars to buy you know a modern console. Paying this twenty two or thirty five dollars a month might just be up your alley. And especially if you're getting Game Pass with the Xbox, you've already got a hundred games right there. So this is a a really phenomenal step forward for Microsoft. I wanted to talk about it and give you guys my thoughts. Let me know uh, in the comments. What you think about this, is Microsoft moving in the right direction? Does this excite you as a gamer? Do you think that Nintendo and possibly Sony will have any kind of rebuttal to this kind of move? To me, this is kind of an earth-shattering thing. To me, Game Pass was already really uh, ahead of the curve when it comes to competition. Uh, to have a Netflix-style service for a video game console. And I don't think Nintendo or, or Sony are even going down that path, but to offer this kind of not only value, but but do something so special for the gamer. You 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 pay this twenty two dollars a month, and you get a hundred awesome games to start out. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And it feels good to be back. Uh, give a thumbs up, show support for this channel, and uh, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, Beastly Gamer Max. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next video.